Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Digicam. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the versions in Digicam. It is extremely uh, useful from a picture. You can have different versions depending of adjustment. And after you can manage this version. Digicam, free software, open source software to organize all your pictures and at the same time to enhance, improve your pictures. First link on the description, the complete course is available. So if you want to learn digital uh, from uh, scratch, if you want to learn digital from scratch, you want to learn how to organize your picture, how to enhance your picture with a different adjustment, this course will be perfect for you. And it is on the first link on the description, you will see on the models and all the sessions. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like this content. So let's start with the version. You can find the version directly on the right. So here you have versions. And each time, if you select a picture, I'm going to go first on my folder image and select one of these pictures. It can be, for example, this one. And I can click directly on versions. If I click on version, I have image history. So I didn't have other version on this image, but I would like to create different version. For example, if I want to enhance these pictures, I can directly open the image editor here. And now I can find these pictures and increase the size of my window. I have different options. I would like to create a version with better colors, better saturation. So I can click on colors and I select, for example, you saturation lightness. I can within my parameter by default. Here you have different options. You can see preview on move over. Generally, I like to use this one and I can increase the saturation and the vibrance just like that. So it is before, after, before, after. I can validate and I can click on one more time color. And uh, at the same time, I can click on color balance. Maybe I can change little the style. I can click on default and add little warm color. I can increase the red, <laughs> decrease here for magenta and decrease for yellow. And I can just validate. So I improve the color on this picture with just these two adjustments. Now the things that I can do is to click on save as new version. So you can save the change directly on the same version, the original version, or save as a new version. I'm going to click here, save as new versions, just like that. And after, if I go out of my image editor, you can find a new version here. So for example, I come back here, you have the version option on the right. I click on this picture. You can find the first version. And now I have my second versions. So this is the first and this is the second. If I have this version, I can go right click and I can rename. And for example, I can put this image and I can add version, um, version saturation and validate like this. So this is my first version and version with saturation. If I click on this one, I can go on version and you can find the first and you can find the second and something interesting on the first I don't have any adjustment on the second you can see the adjustment that you have from this picture if I create a different version so I can select this one again image editor so this is my original image and I would like to increase the contrast so I can click on brightness contrast gamma first Activate default, increase the contrast just like this, but at the same time, little bit more brightness because it's not going to be good if I just apply contrast. So I can make something like 24, maybe 32. Increase the contrast and just validate. After I can continue, color. Maybe I can select the curve adjustment and Reset by default, if I want to create a curve with uh, more contrast, I can position one point here, one point here, one point here, decrease this point here and decrease this point here. Just like that. I have a lot of contrast, even if it's not the best because it's too dark here 
So maybe I can change a little bit this one and change a little bit this one. Just validate. I can add color contrast also. So I can click on Enhance. And you have local contrast. Local contrast is extremely powerful to make really big effect on your pictures. First, I need to wait and take a glance. Directly, we can obtain this render. I can reset by default the parameter because you have different stage. The best things to do generally is the first stage is enough. If you add multiple stage, generally it's too much. But here, take a glance before, after, before and after. So I can just validate also. I think it's okay. Maybe I can go enhance, add a little sharpen and maybe a value of 20 is enough. Yes, just like this. So I can save as a new version, like that. And after to do this work, I can close the editor. You can go on the right and you can find now another version. So this is the first version original. This is my version saturation. This is my version contrast. So I can just go right click, rename, and I can change and maybe I can put uh, versions contrast, just like this. And I can just validate. And if I go on the right, so you have the version panels, you can select, for example, this one, this is original. And if I click here, or if I click here, I can select, I can find the different other versions. So I have a version saturation. I can find what I apply as an adjustment in comparison of my original version. So I apply use saturation, lightness filters, and color balance tools. And in my version contrast, so it means this one, I apply sharpen, local contrast filter, adjust curve, brightness contrast, gamma filters. So this is why it is useful. At any moment, if you want to delete your version, for example, I don't want this one, this one, I can click on the two and right click and I can move to file to trash, just like that. And now I just keep my original version trash and I'm going to remove these two ones, all items. So it's okay for that, we're going to stop here. It was just to introduce this small feature version. So it means you can have a summary all your different version in comparison of the original. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. First link on the description, the complete course is available. So if you want to have a structured course starting from scratch, mastering Digicam for organize all your pictures and enhance all your pictures, this course will be perfect for you. It is on the first link on the description. You will see the models the session, what you will be able to learn at the end of the course, you will be able to master Digicam. And on these channels, for our next video, next series, series of videos, see you 